Okay, folks, here's a little uh, greenhouse that can be uh, also a butterfly hatchery. You can do multiple species, different kinds of species, not multiple species at a time. I mean, you could, but I suggest you do uh, one species at a time. You know, do what you like. It's just a nice little little greenhouse is portable and you can also take it apart and store it in your garage and you know about in, in the box it comes in I'm gonna start sh shipping these if somebody wants one email me Craig the butterfly man at gmail.com c-r-a-i-g the butterfly man at gmail.com uh, I want to start I'm gonna sell these for a while complete with everything I mean you're gonna get your you're going to get a 10 by 25 foot piece of 3.5 mil plastic to keep the bugs off. You're going to get this this little this little pot that you drip with here. This is all these 144 plants are all drip watered. You don't want to spray water your plants when you're raising butterflies in it. You can spray it if you're just raising plants, but you you want to uh, take that that spray system out or just not turn it on when you're doing butterflies it just doesn't work out that well for the for the caterpillars this is all three quarter inch thin wall uh, PVC it's, it's designed it doesn't look real sturdy but it is because it's designed that way and then once you wrap your 30 or 50 30 or 50 percent shade cloth which is included in it once you wrap it around there tight that gives it structural integrity it just looks like a big caterpillar don't it? we just put some green green on it and paint a couple eyes in the front and there you go right and have a little place you can get in because you're going to want to tuck that shade cloth underneath these pots because the shade cloth you get is going to be wide enough it's going to come down over and go underneath those pots and that will hold it on both sides so it'll be plenty wide to do all that like I said when I ship these things they'll be complete but I'll email you back and tell you what's all included in the kit and I'll even tell you what pieces if you want to build one yourself I'm going to start these out I guess around uh, I don't know where 395 complete um, but these these things are got the, it, everything pretty much that you need to get going uh, you're gonna have to probably go get your own little battery powered timer and you just hook a hose up to it you need no electricity uh, you need no glue you'll just I'll get send you a little rubber mallet that you just kind of tap these things together and then you just tap them apart if you want to take it down it's in your backyard after the season if you want to do that or you can put some uh, uh, six uh, six mil uh, you know that clear poly you can get a big piece of that and put it over it in the winter and keep your plants from freezing you put a couple of those little space heaters in there you know those little 1500 watt space heaters it'll keep it almost any climate will keep your plants from freezing you put a little you know you put a piece of poly over the plants and then you put a piece of poly over the house and it gives you kind of a double insulation and you put your little heater uh, down the middle row there you know with supports of something supporting it on either side and let that thing go and you got you know you kind of double whammy I mean I don't know whether it's going to be good at 20 below but hey try it out and let me know I know it's great in Austin Texas of course that's why I live here you know that <laughs> I'm in the central flyway of monarch butterflies and gosh here it is Valentine's Day I think it's 75 today it's going to be 75 it's a nice day Okay, I don't know what else to tell you about this thing other than you can pretty much see what it is. I'm going to get up a little closer here and you can kind of see how it's put together. And all this stuff slides together. The only, there's only a little bit of stuff glued and that's like these on each end are glued. It's just, it's, it's not necessary to glue all this stuff and a lot of you may very well want to take it down in the winter time so and of course you know there'll be instructions on how you do uh, how you do butterflies in here how you make it into a butterfly hatchery 
It's really nice. It's okay. So like the the structure itself is eight feet wide. The the PVC is eight foot. The, there's a foot of black plastic on each side because so, it's a ten by twenty five foot piece of black plastic, and it comes out on each end another foot or two. Uh, of course, you're going to want to, before you put your poly down, you're going to want to put some kind of a insecticide, pesticide on the ground, two foot bigger, like 14 foot by, say, 30 foot. You're going to want to do pesticide over the whole area and water it in. Then put your plastic down. That helps you stay ahead of the predators. And, of course, you'll put cloth on top of it, and then you'll, once these things have got a lot of leaves on them, as you can see, they're nice, they're tropicals. 144 tropical milkweed in here. And of course, you can grow them right in here too. You can just put seeds in. It's going to take you about three months of 80 plus weather and 70 overnight to to get the plants big. But you can grow them, or you can buy your own uh, buy plants that are already grown. These pots, of course, are recycled pots. So you can go around to your nurseries or growers, and they'll have some laying there, and you might be able. To Talk them out of 144 and pretty cheap. Um, well, like I said, you can kind of see how it's how it's constructed. Uh, this this little hatchery right here, minimum, you ought to be able to raise uh, 300 monarchs uh, uh, per generation in this, or about three. Two or three hundred of uh, other species, depending on what plants you use. You know me; I like raising a lot of different kinds of butterflies. Uh, monarch seems to be the hot species these days, which is which is good because it's a great introduction into butterflies, monarchs. But I love giant swallowtails, uh, eastern swallowtails, and queens are a milkweed butterfly, and they stay local. When you release them, they'll hang around your garden. You know, if you release monarchs, unless you're up in the Midwest, they're gone, especially in Texas here. They just come and go here. But anyway, well, I said seven minutes. You're probably tired of hearing me ramble through all this, but uh, email me, Craig the Butterfly Man at gmail.com if you want me to get one of these, cut them, put them in a box. Like I said, you can do them yourself, but it's going to take you hours to cut all the pieces and do all that. And besides, you want to help support butterflies and help support me, right? So, send me an email. Thank you very much.